All right, everybody, this is the Kismet Army Automated Kill Box. It, is an, it basically defends itself. Uh, what it does is it activates all these blade traps. The mobs walk up, they get their head chopped off like these guys right here. The way it works is there's some motion sensors up here that sense the mobs getting close to the base. When that happens, the base turns itself on automatically depending on what zone it detects the zombies. Now, this one right here is, of course, this kind of corner right here, this corner edge. We've got another motion detector right here, which is kind of watching this corner edge here. Another motion sensor watching underneath here to activate these, et cetera, et cetera, around the base, around that corner. And then one over here uh, watching this corner. And then, of course, we have one here in the middle watching this middle area. So if any of this, if any of them come in that particular quadrant, it will then turn itself on. We have shotgun turrets. We have auto turrets. We shoot a lot further. They're coming in. Let's go ahead and drag them into the base. And let's watch it automatically. Whee! Hello, everybody! Just notice how the base right now is turned off. It's turned off because it does, doesn't detect any zombies. So I'm going to just kind of walk out there, lure those zombies after me, and then run over here. And as they get close, i got another detector right here. When it detects them... These front two blades are going to come on, and all the rest of these blades are going to come on eventually when they get in field of view of those. So first, the first two blades come on. Then this side one detects them, which you can see it looking at it. See how it moves and tracks with it? And then in, in the blade traps they go. Now, I've got this in a kind of a C like this so that uh, when they fall through the middle, uh, they have a chance of falling in there and get their heads off. Now, sometimes they land there. But that's okay, they usually go around and get their head chopped off again later. Now we also did add these kind of like uh, glass splash here. This is 3,000 uh, damage bulletproof glass. Uh, like a cop shooting at you, you can dodge behind here, take a little damage. Also, they can't hit you from underneath because sometimes the cops do hit from underneath. Also up here, we've got a whole bunch of power that runs the turrets. And you can see we turn the switches on. And then what it does, it activates all the power for the various turrets that we have running out there. Um, we have this in the corners, which I find pretty excellent. It's actually built into the side of the base. Now, uh, you can also see we've got relays in there to protect those. And we've also got plates over the side of it, which are concrete plates, which protect it from getting hit from zombies because I've actually had it uh, knocked out before. Same thing here in the back. In the back here, we've got the double vault door, like so, which is pretty cool. So you've got your switches here. And then your uh, relays up there. So you can access your relays and run wires and whatnot. And then, of course, you want to have those closed whenever mobs are shooting up here because you don't want to have those knocked out. Now, all this power is being fed from up above. As you can see, we've got ourselves some generators. These generators here are running down. From, that one's running down to the turrets, the middle one. This one is running for the blade traps just on that side. Oh, thanks for coming in and testing it. Now, we've got some peeps here. We've got a feral coming in. Let's see how a feral does. and they get their heads chopped off. Now inside here, our base is above ground. I do not have a subterranean base anymore. All the base is above ground. As you see, we've got a bunch of forges running. We've got workbenches. We've got uh, ca uh, campfires. And then of course, chemical stations. Uh, and of course, a bunch of stuff for making uh, weapons and whatnot in here. All of our goods are here. We have no underground base, no more underground bases. Now, uh, uh, below this, while you're on Horde Night, uh, we call the Kismet Kill Box. Uh, where you can be in here, you can be shooting stuff, you can be repairing. Also, we added spikes here so they take a little extra damage if they get close to the base. And you can also go down below the base uh, in a kind of a subterranean area where you can then, of course, loot or you can rewire or you can repair all of this stuff down here. Now, as you notice, I got a uh, vault uh, hatch right here where I've got an electric relay that runs from way up there down here and then, of course, runs up to all of these. And then we keep this closed, of course, uh, to keep those from getting broken. So our blade traps do not turn off. So let's go outside. Let's take a look at the outside of those blade traps right here. And, of course, we've got a drawbridge and a ramp for getting in and out of there. And here's these inverse blade traps. Now, the blade traps are uh, actually two up, and they're three by three. So the base is actually perfectly built, and we had to extend the back of it a little bit to make it so that the blade traps that are three by three go perfectly from... Uh, kind of north, uh, north, south to east, west, and they go all the way around the base perfectly. So we actually measured it out exactly how many need so that the inner bars and then the blade traps themselves match up. The actual blocks itself is up uh, three, which comes out, uh, comes out two, and then you take the blade trap, turn it upside down, you attach it underneath, 
run the power to it, and it just chops their heads off. Even radiated ferals and radiated cops will get their heads cut off. Let's go take a look at the power that's powering the base right now. Now, I have separate generators for just about everything. So I've got a generator here that just runs the blade traps on this kind of corner. So like three on this way and four on that way. This one generator relays down and then, of course, relays several times before it gets to those down there. This right here is for turrets. It runs these turrets out here and that turret over there. This one here, again, these are all uh, for the blade traps that are down there. And then the same thing here in the back. Also, you never have to turn these off. Just leave them on, and whenever it needs it, it will grab the power, use up some of your gas, and then it will automatically turn off the line. So you never really need to turn off your generators. You can just let them run all the time as long as it's not using any power constantly, right? So you have it only turn on when needed, which is how I have my stuff set. All right. So you can see I have it set on zombies, I have it set to instant in 10 seconds, and I have it aiming directly at that kind of quadrant of the base, which is the, which is the blade traps that it moves. Now you can move it around all you want, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and aim it right back again in that kind of quadrant so that if it sees any zombies there, it'll automatically relay, turn on the power for 10 seconds. As long as it sees a zombie, it will actually keep turning itself on and on and on, and then it won't see a zombie. Then 10 seconds later, it usually turns itself off. Or that's how the uh, motion sensors work. Now, the next part of the base is the uh, Sky Garden. Uh, that's something I really, really like. Uh, is right out here. Now, notice also we have a glass garage here. It's bulletproof glass uh, so that our people can just drive in here park here and feel perfectly safe because even if cops come along and they try to shoot at you uh, you've got that bulletproof glass to prevent that from happening this is our entry ramp way back here I don't like it to be close to the base I've already tried it close to the base it does not work well uh, you want to have it a bit away from your base and then have it where people just drive up close up the drawbridge and they can drive into the garage out here we call this Gwen Sky Garden she takes care of our uh, stuff for us our food and all of that oh, speaking of Gwen there she is picking stuff out of the garden uh, up here in the top sky tower we've got all of the corn of course you're perfectly protected up here if you want to uh, collect corn and whatnot mobs are not going to get you birds are not going to get you up here uh, as well it's nice to be able to just go to the sky garden uh, and not have to worry about being constantly attacked now, i'm gonna go ahead and get on my bike here for a second and we're gonna go for a little bit of a ride because there is another structure way out there that i want to show you guys if you haven't seen it yet i call it the arboretum aka the giant tree farm and we're going to run way out here now look at this it looks like it holds king kong in there right this is way out here and blocked and, and it's really high like that to prevent us from seeing it on horde night the reason why we don't want to see it on a horde night is because we have a bunch of trees in here and if you have a lesser machine usually it will lag you out um, but since we have it so far away and we also have it blocked off you can't see it on a horde night so you're pretty well off. And that's the only purpose of this building. And that's why the building is so high, to, to prevent you from seeing the trees. If you notice back on the Sky Garden, uh, because it's glass, all the plants continue to grow. If you were to put them in a, in a concrete bunker, they would not grow in there. Now, if you'd like to see the underpinnings of this base, now you don't have to be this, this hardcore, but it does look epic, doesn't it? It does, it does look very, very epic. Uh, with that so if they take out a support or two no big deal uh, this is a team effort this base there's a lot of people working together toward a common goal to build up the base and to uh, make all of these systems work together if uh, we didn't have any mechanical parts then we couldn't repair the blade traps if we didn't have food then all of our people would starve if we didn't have wood to, to keep all the forges and stuff going uh, it's a whole lot of people working together uh, and that make the base amazing and again that is the Kismet Army Automated Killbox.